chapter 33. And Yahuwah said unto Musha, Depart, and go up hence, and you the people which have brought up out of the land of Mitzrayim, and unto the land which I swore unto Abraham, to Yashak, and unto Yacub, saying, Unto your seed will I give it. And I will send a Malak before you. And I will drive out the Canaanite, the Amari, and the Hattai, and the Perizzi, and the Hivai, and the Yebusai, unto a land flowing with milk and honey. For I will not go up in the midst of you. For you are a stiff-necked people, lest I consume you in the way. And when the people heard the evil report, they mourned. And no man did put on him his ornaments. For Yahuwah had said unto Musha, Send to the children of Yashua, You are a stiff-necked people. I will come up into the midst of you in a moment and consume you. Therefore now put off your ornaments from you, that I may know what to do unto you. And the children of Yashua stripped themselves of their ornaments by the Mount Horeb. And Musha took the tabernacle and pitched it without the camp, afar off from the camp, and called it the tabernacle of the assembly. And it came to pass that everyone which shot Yahuwah went out unto the tabernacle of the assembly, which was without the camp. And it came to pass when Musha went out unto the tabernacle, that all the people rose up and stood every man at his tent door, and looked after Musha until he was gone into the tabernacle. And it came to pass as Musha entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended and stood at the door of the tabernacle, and Yahuwah talked with Musha. And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door, and all the people rose up and worshipped, every man in his tent door. And Yahuwah spoke unto Musha face to face, as a man speaks unto his friend. And he turned again unto the camp. But his servant Yahushua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. And Musha said unto El Yahuwah, See, you say unto me, Bring up this people, and you have not let me know whom you will send with me. Yet you have said, I know you by name, and you have also found grace in my sight. Now therefore I pray you, if I have found grace in your sight, show me now your way, that I may know you, that I may find grace in your sight, and consider that this nation is your people. And he said, My presence shall go with you, and I will give you rest. And he said unto him, If your presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. For wherein shall it be known here? I and your people have found grace in your sight. Is it not in that you go with us? So shall we be separated, I and your people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. And you who have said unto Musha, I will do this thing also that you have spoken, for you have found grace in my sight, and I know you by name. And he said, I beseech you, show me your kabod. And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before you, and I will proclaim the name of you who are before you. I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious. I will show mercy on whom I will show mercy. And he said, You cannot see my face, for there shall no man see me and live. And Yahuwah said, Behold, there is a place by me, and you shall stand upon a rock. And it shall come to pass, while my kabod passes by, that I will put you in a cleft of the rock, and will cover you with my hand while I pass by. And I will take away my hand, and you shall see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen.